Well, Mao's does it right back to them. <laughs> we asked the question, can Dexter deliver? And he absolutely did, needed to. Maybe a little disjointed between the long fight and the catwalk fight there. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but you wind up in a situation where Bemis didn't even have to peek out of Goose and they had no information on it. So when the players finally do wrap around towards sight, he's just got a complete surprise shot out. So nicely done there. It's going to be a force buy back through there, loath to let go of this early momentum. But that was a huge round to take for Mao's. Huge credit to Dexter as an individual, right? Normally we're giving him the credit for the IGLing, but that round, he had to step up with the gun. And he stepped up indeed. 125 on the clock here. Looking for org. Couple of AKs purchased up here, so they're forcing right back into this one. You can't really blame them because they can get these AKs. Thing is, a couple of players onto the pistols. Dexter could be a difference maker once more. Catches off a pocket, Ooh. takes him down, then finds the second on Sterling. Gonna toss a nade on forward and do even more damage. It's all Dexter up to this point, setting himself up potential ace. There's the third, maybe the fourth. No, finally gets shut down, and it will be frozen to drop leak. He only has her left, and at least he's making some noise there in the lower tunnels. Couple of frags comes through, but again, it's a 3v1 scenario in favor of mouse yeah probably not going to convert this round but two kills already found a little bit more damage for hazard could maybe keep the economy just a bit limited here oh mbk reveals the spot just a bit early and he's down for the count that's three bodies on the floor certainly not around win and that was never really in doubt but mouse maybe a bit more costly than they would have liked considering how much dexter was shedding it shutting it down Right from the beginning, three kills, 350 damage. That'll be a nice little buff to the ADR. Yeah. Got to get those kills in when you can as an in-game leader, you know? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, he delivered with the right bar already. I mean... You, you get the eeks as a little bonus on top. I mean, maybe like five years ago we'd be saying that, but IGLs have come a long way now, Mike, I think. True. And um, Dexter, Dexter's always been one who can step forward when he exactly. needs to. Torzy hasn't gotten on the board just yet. Not something we'll be looking for once he gets the op out for sure, but you'd like to see him deliver a bit early on. Mm -hmm. The setup out towards long could be tricky to deal with. They're just going to flash over, try and let the rifle do some work, and otherwise come bullying on in. The hero AK out, and well, the crossfire is pretty dang good here. You missed the only one answering just yet, but now Dexter comes in for the shutdown, and yes, Jeez. it's clean. A 4K for Dexter as he's out to 11-2 already, and Miles roll through that round. Yeah, Dexter just piling on the anti-eco frags there. Four more to his name. Seven of the last ten frags going his way uh, over the last two rounds. Four to one lead for Miles, and started off right looking for org they win the four spot you're like okay things are getting exciting it might be a, a little back and forth and mouse just like no 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 <laughs> we're just gonna shut down the next three in a row uh and try to take control of this first half but here come looking for org they got the four ak's and the deagle out once more apoc thinking about tossing that flash and just wanted to wait for the nate to fly on forward and he goes for a little bit of a peek but flashes himself in the process so just going to have to wait for that first engagement a little bit longer. But you see looking for Org going down two players into the lower tunnels and one still hanging around. That's APOC towards upper B, Mike. Oh, the B split in full effect here. So I'm up to isolate these two players and they're going to really focus on in. So the question is, can APOC get through? Needs to bring in some sort of a threat, even if it's just utility toss, because right now MBK is fully focused. He's got support as well, and MBK is just going to go forward and hunt. Jeez. Love the play from the natural born killer. Needed to find that space, needed to avoid getting pincered. And well, if you rip off one of the tongs of the pincer, that works out just fine. Torsi is down, but he's already found two kills, and well, there's there's really no chance that Savage is going to do anything in this round. Oh boy, I mean, that looked like an eco. I don't want to be mean, but man, looking for our guy. That was rough. Is, is rough, yeah. Uh, they MBK. found the space, right? They find they the did. space, they get in towards the mid, they're set up for the B play, but then Mao's just takes the initiative straight away from them. Well, yeah, MBK, like you mentioned, you know, going aggressive outside of the B site and, and trying to take that fight towards mid, even though looking for, like you mentioned, found that space. Uh, I don't know, just a, a rough go. The aim battle's definitely going Mao's way and uh, five to one scoreline as a result. And I mean, as we alluded to earlier, definitely Mo's uh, is the team with more at stake here in terms of if they lose, right? Because they're the team expected to come out with the victory here. But uh, looking for Org, maybe they can find that uh, enough points to move on and above Mo's. 
not an auspicious start though on their map pick after that second round we were excited but since then yeah they've kind of been in the trap of of the eco buys right even in this round they're investing into armor and uh not really getting a lot to show for it a bomb plant would obviously be wonderful but these deagles are gonna struggle to get much of anything out of this round and with miles already finding a pick they're very comfortable to just kind of sit back settle in let it develop see what I'm looking for i actually want to do dexter can play off of towards he's up here either way somebody's getting hurt oh he, oh, he spotted gun barrel spotted i think gun he barrel. did yes knows it's coming through freebie there they can follow it up and there's the op to provide oversight oh they're not getting away with this one savage mm. last alive and while it's a pistol fight he's going to be flanked out and he's got to be aware of it too it will certainly signal that in as it hits him in the forehead well savage might be able to find one more kill anything beyond that I take a downright miracle no miracles today john no no definitely not <laughs> Uh, six to one in favor of mouse. Here's the timeout. So that makes sense for looking for org. You know, you got another important rifle buy up coming through here. If you fall short again in convincing fashion, then a lot of questions start being asked and looking at Dexter, definitely an impact player here, uh, 211 damage and two kills in that previous round and 177 ADR, but it goes beyond that 13 and two overall. Um, and he's just dominating as we kind of hope to see for Mouse. And looking over on the Looking for on looking for Org side, um, Sterling was a player we highlighted earlier on mm. as being uh, impactful for this roster throughout Pro League, but right now sitting on only one. The thing is, his impact was with the op, and finally yeah. he has that in his hands, so maybe he can make some noise here. And this is the thing, right? They, they've just now gotten a real buy on the board. They've been chasing after yep. these slight force buys, hero AKs, minimal investments, and so now... They finally get the scope. Sterling spots two, but he doesn't pop off a shot, and a third will not come. No early impact with that AWP delivered. They got the information that this is a pretty standard hole for Mouse, right? They like to play the 3-2. Yep. So what do you read into that if you're looking for org? Bit of a default here, maybe expecting some aggression their first gun round, hoping to be gift wrapped to kill. A lot of utility coming out from Dexter. To be fair, on Catwalk, he's bled his pockets dry. Got just a single flash remaining, but he just wanted to buy time on that Catwalk presence, and now he's willing to give it up. Man, I mean, I understand the pick of Dust 2, right, Mike, by uh, mm -hmm. looking for it because Mouse have only played it one time in the last three months, and, and it was a loss to enter pick uh, 13 to 16, but... Hmm. <laughs> it's just. Uh, I, I think it's still a reasonable pick, right? You're yeah, the underdog. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta pull some stuff off. Of but course. It does lean towards the CT side at this level of play, and uh, if you're looking for work, you do want to build just a little bit more. Definitely. A little bit more uh, of a base to actually come through from. And. Uh, nice for sure, and, and they slow things down here, and that Molotov is going to help Mouse to at least gain a bit of positioning. Dexter, who is going to get a chance to peek around the edge of the smoke, finds one, will be able to fall off as well, but no, he gets spammed through the smoke by Leaky. Torsi is going to peek around. I think he got dinked through the box, luckily, and he's only down to 85, and he's going to try and peek out once one more time. He's got the reinforcements coming through from CT and Long. Bemis is going to get Savage, and we have a 4v3, the advantage game by Mouse and Frozen, the touchdown, Ooh. and look at him go towards, he's going for a no-scope, but Linky gets two, and now we have a 2v1, no I don't think there's any time, yeah, NBK will get the last frag anyway, and it's 7-1 to one in favor of Mouse. Had to force the issue there, I mean, most successful yeah. round so far for looking for org, but without the bomb plant, it doesn't amount to much, it certainly doesn't help them keep the momentum going, they're struggling to get on in. It occurred to me, you know, maybe the reason Dexter's popping off so hard is he just feels comfortable. It's like being back home. Yeah. He's playing against looking for Org right now. I mean, Sterling's an old teammate. He's known <laughs> these guys for a long time, probably. It's just, he's feeling I, comfortable. I don't think the feelings are mutual on the other no. hand. <laughs> probably no. cursing his no. God damn it. They're like, hey, this guy left, but now we're <laughs> stuck with him again. Savage burned a lot. Yeah. The man on fire out towards Long. That room's on fire. And look, he did he did try out casting, John, so maybe maybe they're looking to pick him up. No, yeah, maybe. Is that still a thing? I don't know. For Rosen. 
keep the clean towards B. It's going to be a little bit of a tr attempted bulldoze in towards the site, but if Dexter deals with this one rifle, he should be fine. Pistol down. He's dancing around the boxes. Dexter looking so good. And he's got a teammate to help him out as well, so it's no problem here. This oh guy goodness. is monstrous right now. 17 and 3. They can't get past him towards B. Hey, you know, one of those sites. <laughs> he's, yeah. I mean, Dex has been everywhere, really, but definitely at the A site. And... 17 and 3. Mike, sorry, would you want to say something? Sorry. I just saw the 299 damage in that round. That's yeah. a ridiculous ADR number right now. Yeah, just, just. I think I, it's 182 I, right now overall, which. Is like, what? Oh, boy, Dorsey. Going to take down APOG with a headshot, the overkill from the big green. And Hazard. Is going to fall back momentarily, joining up with Leaky. They do have a bit of space to work with, but Venus oh. takes it away completely with two heads. Erling and Savage working together here. Playing together. That's just going to be on to Sterling. He doesn't last much longer. Vaporized oh, as they man. make their way towards site. And there's just no easy answer here for LFO. There isn't. Uh, this is just complete domination right now um, from Mouse in, in every way, shape, and form. Uh, like uh, like you were saying, and, and like we were alluding to, they're finding the gaps. They're finding the space. But as soon as they do, Maus decides to go on the aggression and take it away. So again, that was the case there, in particular at the beginning of the round, which I think determined the round uh, once they lost long A control. Now they're going to try for it again on a pistol. By a Bemis is going to uh, go for an engagement up close. Good flash throw for himself. And then he goes down to APOC. So that is an A1S picked up by looking for Org. And well, maybe that aggression will cost Mouse in this round. Yeah, I mean, they've been feeling real confident. They've been getting a bit spicy. Maybe that's a reminder for Bemus that you can't just <laughs> run at them. That flash play worked out really yeah. nicely in a previous round, but this time he does get checked for it. So, what are we going to do? Dexter has a lot of responsibility. He doesn't have anyone to watch his cat. They're trying to bring Toshi back up, but... Well, the smoke down, he's not really going to be able to help. It's going to be up to Dexter. And now the bullets are coming through. Oh, he's getting peppered down. And they uh -huh. guess correct. Somebody's behind that car. That was a good estimate, right? Not seeing any yep. presence on towards Long. You go for the play. Now Torsi wants to retake the space, but the smoke's coming in. He's going to have to maneuver. Oh, a run boost. And what a <laughs> shot from Hazard. <laughs> All right, here we go. LFO coming alive into this one. And Rosie shut it down. Squeeze that life from him. One found, two found. Damage done. It's all on NDK now. 1v2, but very winnable. Only one rifle, and that rifle is committed to the bomb plant here, but Savage might be the ace of the hole. The AK. He's taking Dexter's AK. Now, he might put it to work. He's trying to tuck up until NDK shows himself on the ramp, and then the play is going to come through. Flashbang out. Is that time to peek? They're playing the time. MBK trying to use every second available to him. Really trying to milk this clock. Oh, what oh. a good guess. He saw the blood splatter and he knew. And BK, one more to find. Not a lot of clock, but just enough for this man, for this legend of the game to creep around the site and get a shot. No, Hazard will just about steal through a second round for looking for Org. <laughs> well, look, um, the overconfidence definitely came into play for Mouse there. You saw at the beginning, uh, it was Bemis coming out and giving the A1S to looking for it, which was their second frag. The A1S led to their second frag uh, on the car player. And Frozen almost brought things back, including MBK. Frozen did a ton of damage, two frags and, and a lot more to the, the uh, second to last player alive. But uh, NBK, unfortunately for him, couldn't clutch it up. But the effort was incredible, you know, spotting out the, the blood splatter, like you mentioned on the car player, but then unable to get onto that bomb site to close things out. And now NBK is the first one down, going into those tunnels, jumping around, caught out again with his feet off the ground. 5v4, early advantage here for looking for org. And well, they're just gonna stay posted up in those upper tunnels. The bomb will be joining them oh, shortly. 
Yeah, th this is dangerous right now. They need the reinforcements to mouse for the B side. Oh, this is good. This is good. But Frozen holds the line. He catches them. They wanted to go for the cheeky play, right? On the smoke fade. But yep. Frozen is just too good. He's been the coiled Cobra waiting for his chance to strike. And now his venom is felt. Two bodies on the floor. B closed for business. And Frozen content to sit here. Comfortable for it. He frees up his teammates to deal with the rest of the map. And while this is going to be interesting, Dex just made his way up through mid. They've lost A, but Dexter has actually beaten the bomb through here. And he's oh, going to no. be posted. He's going to be ready, but he's not going to be good on the shot. A chance, a chance, a difficult one at that, but a chance to bring this through. And Savage knows he needs to hold this line. And so far, he's doing a decent job of it. The question is the cross. Do they leave themselves at all vulnerable? Is this smoke good? Can they get it into the position they need to actually choke oh. out this angle and give themselves a chance to avoid Torsi? Yeah, smoke that's a flash. Uh, yep. Deep smoke. You're good. They're good. Yeah, that's a real. I was gonna say really good smoke and flash uh, coming through there for looking for orgs. So they have control of the A site, and I mean, looking at the money for mouse, they can go for this one, no questions asked. So let's see if they can pull it back. And you have looking for a nice little setup here. Opera playing in pit. That's Sterling, who we highlighted earlier. And then a couple of players onto the site proper. So there goes a smoke. Bemis still has one to toss onto the bomb, should they be able to. But uh, they're going to come on forward. No engagements just yet. Time is ticking away. Mao's going to have to make their move soon. And here they come, charging on forward. Beamish could get the opener here on the retake. Mm -hmm. He does. There's Leaky down. Smoke going to get tossed under the bomb so they can try and defuse it. Frozen drops. Savage time is very tight here. They have to try and stick it quickly. He's can got they it. find it? Sterling's got two. That's going to be it. Round victory for Looking for Org. Great work from the Opper on Looking for Org. Clinging to this round by the tips of their fingers. LFO take a third. And one thing that won't show up on the stat sheet is Savage actually was a huge part of them getting through that round, right? He's the player who finds A. He's the player who takes all that space, takes the yep. site, realizes that it's open, and calls for his teammates to come back around. So despite the fact that he doesn't get a kill, that he's really having a rough individual statistically game, uh, he is the reason that they're able to win that round. That deep smoke comes through. He realizes that there's a, a, a vacant path to it. They still need to kill Dexter, but it works out nicely done here. And now LFO, you want to pressure on towards B. Frozen has made their life miserable here, but he's not here just yet. He's starting to rotate in, but, but a little bit late. Still, utility from NBK is enough to slow them down and make them think better of it. And they'll never realize how prime of an opportunity they had just on the other side of that tunnel. Yeah, I think one of the problems, though, for Maus in the last two rounds is they're losing the first player in the first 10 seconds. You, you can't have that happen and hope for success uh, on the long term. So, I mean, they're backing off here, being a little more patient, waiting for Looking for Oregon. Oh. Leaky is dropped by that nade. Nice toss by Torzi. I think he was aware that he might have connected on something. Um, and it was Leaky who does get dropped. So there's the man advantage for Maus. The first time in three rounds they've achieved that. And now you have Looking for Org with the bomb on Cat. Hazard's pushed up all the way. To the tip of cat and here, likely going to be leading to something here for, towards the a site yes mike here's the critical piece is they don't have that much utility right there's one molotov yeah. left that's a huge oh. fine for hazard dancing underneath the flame so dexter didn't actually see him now this gets interesting pressure's going to be on torshi has to hit he's got the molotov but he's got a hit on this one and they're not coming his way oh they dropped the player back down in for ct they want to pressure the site but that means that they have to deal with mbk and frozen and this duo has been dang good so far. So the pressure coming through. Hazard trying to pull off a bit of a lurk. Do they realize he's here? They seem to now. Now they definitely spotted him. And meanwhile, his teammates oh. aren't managing to crack on through. So instead, they're going to reroute. They're going to change course. They're going to bail out. But they get around. Oh, they can. Frozen. One more. Brings it down to the 1v1. And a player in elevator is actually going to come forward. He doesn't the have fight. to fight Sterling this. Him. He's got the time. And he does buy it out. So Sterling, <laughs> despite the kill, can't win the round. What a bitter pill for looking for Ward. Frozen almost lost that. He peeked around the corner. That is so dangerous. Coming confident, around there towards confident. CT. Yeah, I mean, tons of confidence. But, um, oof, boy, I, I mean... That was uh, a little too close to call for, for Mouse there when they did have control in terms of the clock. But uh, they get it. 10 to 3. Sterling at least finds himself another frag at the end of it. And we're going to get a timeout called here by looking for Org, who just uh, did not work the clock to their advantage in that round. And we're going to see the replay here. Yeah, Frozen came around and found Hazer, which was great. Or Hazer, excuse me, but Sterling, as mentioned, got that. 
I mean, Hazer might be right. It feels a little bit like looking for Org or getting hazed by their <laughs> yeah. fellow Australian and Dexter at this point. Oh, Oof. boy. That's a that's a good way to throw my mispronunciation out there, Mike. And hey. <laughs> finally twist it around. But uh, yeah. We adapt. Which we is do. what looking we for Org are going to need to do at this point. And they're going to try and adapt in towards a quick B hit. It looks like they've got that one AWP. Does it have the spawn? It does have the spawn. All right, go for a little peek, but a smoke in means, uh, well, they don't leave that peek exposed. Miles are wise to your games, and they don't want to play. Them. Oh, <laughs> MBK is playing a game all his own here. He's just been the rock, right? Three other players are popping on the statistics, yeah. but MBK is just chilling. He's walking down the site. He's making it difficult for them to ever actually come through on towards B. Yeah, and sometimes, uh, you know, you need that. It's tough when you are that player, right? Just not really seeing much action, not necessarily getting many frags on the board and, and just having to uh, hang tough on the site proper. But you know what? If you can continue, your keep your focus up. It's, uh, it's important for the team overall, there's no doubt. Dexter going to be watching here from the A site. He's got this nade primed and ready. Will toss it. Should do a decent amount of damage. And there it is. Chonky nade. Leaky and Hazard go down to 51 and 52 HP respectively. And now, well, I mean, they're still set up for A. They want to hit it. I guess they have no choice at this point. 44 seconds left. They're using the smokes and the utility to the best of their advantage. And Sterling boosted oh. up but misses the head. That would have been big. But a Molotov's going to fly through to the feet of Dexter and will force him off the site anyway. And then Sterling gets a second crack at it, nailing the shot. Problem is now they spent all their utils, so they have to get through. And Bimas has slid into the angle. He's got one. And he get a second as well. Sterling now posted. Needs this shot. He can't have it. Oh. Bomb's going to go down, but it just doesn't matter. They're completely overwhelmed. A little bit of money made for the final round of the half. That's going to be 11 on the board for Maus. <sighs> oh, wow. Uh, that's something else. Looking for or <laughs> those two rounds that they just uh, got in a row prior to, of course, Maus coming back here to get 11 were very tough for them to find and now Mo's are starting to win their duels again they they settled back into a rhythm they're they're not going for that over aggressive type of play that that costs them of course in those two rounds that looking for org did end up getting and yeah they, they settled back into it so 15th and final round of play of this first half of action Mo's in uh, pretty much cruise control at this point Let's see if looking for can at least power one round back onto the board for themselves and make this an 11 to 4 half. Mo is going to back off after some good utility usage by looking for get three players stacked up there trying to hold for long control, but they will lose it. And you see the looking for players starting to filter in now from Longhouse. That Molotov oh. through the smoke was literally the please don't be there, be Miss Molly. Yes. He has ruined them towards long so many rounds. They're like, all right, let's just commit a lot of utility to hopefully killing him. Unfortunately, this round. He's not around. Doesn't want to do it. So they uh, they don't quite get their opportunity to take Bemis out early. But that was something they were trying to hunt. And look at this response from Maus. They've got tunnels. They fuck ready for it. Ah, that might have been given up a little bit early on. Look, he tried to get the kill and didn't have it. So now, yeah, they're back in towards long. They've held the space the entire time. Sterling posted up, hoping someone peeks him from the platform. Someone tries to get this information back. And there's not a lot of forward info from us. They've got this cat presence. That's kind of it. Inching their way forward behind a smoke. Dexter has a little bit of task on his hand, but he's going to line it up. Just the spray battle through. So much damage done. And he stays alive. Nightmare scenario now for, oh, for no. Org as they're being kept out of the site entirely. There's nothing doing here. There's nothing working, and it's all on to APOC with just 22 points of health. He knows there's an offer that smoke, but he cannot for the life of him <laughs> find him. And that will be the half. We'll be back after this quick break. But engage very shortly. Oh, he's walking into it. He has no idea. Yeah. Oh, awkward. <laughs> but Beavis does bring it through. That wasn't exactly one you're going to want to put in the highlight reel, but it seems like it's going to be okay for Mouse here. They are managing to get the important kills when it matters, and while Savage will hang on to long, they've still got a player in mid, so this pinch for the retake is going to be tricky to pull off. And Beamus hasn't even made his move just yet. Hazer needs to get impact early before that flank comes through, and well, not finding his shots. They're chasing this Ooh. a little bit over eager, perhaps, to get it done. 
They're going to give some opportunities over, but it will be challenging. Rosen is a little isolated towards the site, but he's just going to get the kills. Ice Cold lives up to his name. No problem there. And Mal's cruise to 13. Yeah, Frozen uh, really popped off in the latter part of that first half. He's up to 19 now, and of course that uh, pistol round performance doesn't hurt either. But Dexter is still uh, the most impactful player. Two frags in the previous round and ADR 150 just in that round. And of course in this half now, I don't know what is over. I think it's reset now for in terms of the scoreboard, but his Bacchus. overall ADR much must be ridiculous. Number big. Yeah. Number very big. Oh. Actually trying to get lucky in this one. He feels like gambling. But it's just going to be the pistols on the other side. Full investment as well. I'm looking for org. So, I mean, we saw in the first half, right? They got into this this chasing after the force bite type situation. Yeah. And they just don't have the rounds to play with at this point. So, they would very much like to pull this round off. But barring that, we might see Mouse slide up towards map point before you know it. Yeah, this is going to be <laughs> looking for work playing for overtime a little too early in this half for their liking, I'll tell you that. But Sterling's going to peek around this corner and he will get his head taken off by MBK's MP7. So, some space gain towards the A site. Mouse seeing a smoke pop off towards Cat might pause for a moment before deciding to go for their XU. Could be a rotation to B. We'll have to wait and see what uh, they spot out in terms of information not yet they just wanted to hold up a little bit and make looking forward think about things a little bit longer 40 seconds on the clock though so they're gonna have to make their move soon and you have hazard waiting on ramp the lone ranger at the a site thinking okay is it b no it's definitely not b now because he's that smoke come out for cats so hazard work cut out for him Molotov flies over, has to hit these Wandigs, and ends up getting dinked himself down to now 13 HP, flashed on over by looking for Oregon. I mean, he's still alive somehow, but that ends very quickly as NBK spots him out. And Bemis, watching Cat, will take care of one, but only one. Savage could get himself an AK upgrade, oh, but not if Torzi has anything to say about rude. it. Gets the headshot, yeah, and it's only Apoc left, who will likely try and retrieve that AK too, but Moser on the hunt. Yeah, there's no way he's getting this gun. Wants one more exit, wants something. If someone gets a little bit antsy and comes around the corner, maybe a chance to get it late if the bomb blows it towards them. Nah. Just going to back away. Has armor and a deagle. It's something. They will have probably nothing else behind it in this next round, so might as well have something here. And Miles, now in spitting distance of closing this one out. Yeah. Oh, looking for org. There's going to be a temptation to invest here and try and keep this from going to overtime, but come on, give yourselves one round with guns. Yeah. One round to show what you want to do on the CT side. It won't be much, but it's something. I think they can invest a little bit into pistols here. If, oh, oh, no, no, they're going for it. Oh, they're going no. for it. They're risking it for the biscuit. All right, let's see, scouts. What can you show us today? APOC and Sterling getting to pop. They're going to have any chance of taking this round. They've gone for the bet. They've gone for the gamble. That one looked like it was on almost, but just a hair too slow. Frozen's already found space out towards the blue dumpster. That's going to be huge. He spots the player getting in towards pit, but can't quite find the kill on an eight in. It means that he's low. If only they had one more AT, I think. The limit on the util. This is a choke point fight. So far, it's looking good for looking for org. They're going to battle. Two kills now down. Savage trying to find more. Sterling coming in. This has turned into a trap. What? They lured them in, and it turns into the tomb for Miles. They wanted that long fight, but they just couldn't get the damage they needed. Guns now down on the floor, and NBK with a 1v4 with bomb down to try and take control here. So the four spy works out for looking for org. They've got upgrades. Oh. They've got reinforcements. They've got rifles now. And just one Frenchman to deal with before they secure round four. I mean, that was best case scenario for looking for org. Uh, they got exactly what they wanted. Three players were stacked up towards long and they'd already managed to get two into pit before Frozen was able to push out and spot them. In fact, I think Frozen was already behind blue box and they just managed to sneak by uh, as Frozen was peeking on forward. So, well, NBK 1v4.
I'm gonna toss a Molotov on forward, gives away his com position completely. That means he's likely dead to rights unless a miracle comes forward, and he'll peek around to his death. Sterling finds the last one and looking for Org. Stay alive, at least for once, one more round, and the Force Buy certainly pays off because they've got an SG553. Uh, you got the AK picked up from the previous round. They should be able to get a couple of A1Ss here as well. So here we go. Big Moolah. Big Moolah, they'll even ditch this scout because obviously there's no sense keeping money in reserve here. You got to keep winning these rounds, right? You don't want to be handicapped in the slightest. APOC can go aggressive. Oh, mid. Oh, this could be huge. They're all bunched here. They're holding for it, though. They're waiting for it. He's going to find the first. Now he realizes they were looking for this play. Time to back away. Kill found, and he's out. Nice one. One another swing. He does indeed. That was a little bit too greedy. The flashbang for him wasn't good enough to prevent him from losing his life, and now they're taking the space that he's vacated out towards Cat. Yeah, that top mid push has become even more lethal since the change to Dust 2, not being able to see down uh, towards those mid doors um, from T spawn. But uh, Apoc, he, he does get one. Could have even tried to swing around for a second. I did like the conservative play uh, to go back to Cat, but then he gets over eager, eager repeaks top mid and results in evening things out at a 4v4. Also, mid control is pretty much lost for looking for because They don't have much information from that position. Smokes out. They've laid out the carpet. They've given themselves a path in towards the site. Now pressure is on. Like he needs to deliver a Savage to support him, but he's got to contend with Long as well, and that smoke will let him know that Bemis is just on the other side. Savage trying to get in towards the pit. That Krieg tricky from this fight. Damage exchanged either way. His teammates are holding on for now, but Bemis can't be secure this. Oh, he's not found anything. His teammates haven't either. Now it's just a matter of time before the reinforcements are here, and it'll be Savage to eventually win up that duel. So looking for Rorg now. Now they get wow. Eco out from Maus. Now you start to get a chance to maybe put some confidence behind you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, Mike. I mean, that was a great shutdown uh, on Cat. I think it was Sterling with a couple uh, pitched in there and making sure that Maus would not take a step further. And you got 14 to 5, and we did see some crazy comebacks in that... Uh, Entropic G2 match where Entropic came out in front of a big deficit twice to get the reverse sweep against them. So maybe uh -oh. we got something coming uh -oh. out here. Oh uh -oh. boy. <laughs> yeah, it's just a pretty quick one. I think Mouse just wanted to get that one over with very quickly. They just charged to their doom towards the B site, and it's a six for looking for org. Almost worked. They almost caught APOC. Yeah. You see why they were Mouse is committing smoke towards that tunnel every single time, but uh not quite good enough. Not run it over and done with quickly. And now the investment comes through. Scout for Torzi. Otherwise, rifles down the board. Torzi wants that early peak. He is quick with it. We know he is. Spots the information. There's only one player's crossed just yet. Now they're bringing in a second, but it's not going to be the fast B play again. Hazard did leave some space for it. But it won't happen here. If they test Catwalk, Sterling's going to have some chances to swing. That AWP can make its presence felt early on. How long does he want to stick around, though? Doesn't have any support, doesn't have any help, doesn't even have a third player towards this side of the map, right? So he can't really afford to go down here for the sake of their A defense and just popping a shot, he'll have to regroup. Hazard chasing. He has the space, but he has to be careful not to get caught. Might be worth giving it up. At this point, he's out in the open. Who's going to win this? Dexter is... Yeah, so Mouse, do you have that man advantage? Dexter took a lot of damage to get an APOC, just misses spotting him out and tagging him down to his death. Sterling does get one, but only one over at Cat as Frozen trades him out. That's the space gained here for Mouse. They have to be careful of APOC. And along with Savage, he's trying to swing around from long. APOC taps ahead, stays alive, gets a second, oh! third APOC popping off here, leaves only Bemis, and he's going to get one on APOC and swings around oh, to drop no. Hazard. Oh man, and oh no indeed for looking for Org because it looked like they were going to get that one. Apoc with an incredible 3k, but at the end it's Beamus to shut the door in the 1v2. Fitting. He shut the door on them so many times in the first half and here he secures map point. He's like, enough of this tomfoolery. 
enough of these rounds we're looking for orga bringing it through apoc that was a nice try but hey oh, buddy man i'm still here investment in for looking for org this is where they're gonna bet all the chips they've got the double off up as well and, oh a chase on out is interesting here bemis down out towards long it's not actually the mid fight that finds that yeah. kill this is quick lfo they know they need everything in this round so they're gonna throw everything they've got at it they secure long using that utility to make absolutely sure no one snuck into a cheeky angle Mouse kind of let some time running off the clock here. Going for the peak towards B, and Apoc missing that shot. Might just give them a little bit more confidence to come through. Torzy, just holding the mid doors there with the op, letting Mouse cross over with a little concern, and they will be jumping their way up to Cat. Looking for Org, they have one player on A and one towards Long. That's Savage at Long. And uh, Sterling actually supporting Long instead of the A site. So there's a bit of an opening for Mouse to go on through here. And there's the flashbang thrown. So NBK can peek around for Cat. But looking for Org, are going to close this gap. Leaky is coming up. And Mouse just wanted to make some noise. If their purpose was to draw attention towards the A site, well, it's mission accomplished, but they've only got 37 seconds left on the round to make a play, and they're kind of going back and 14 mid. I'm not sure where the hit's going to end up, but the bomb has already jumped down to mid and leaning towards lower tunnels, and it will be B. It has to be B at this point, Mike, because they have no space gained onto the A site, but still two players left here to try and get rid of and get onto that site. It's not much time. Yeah, no margin for error. Smokes in, utility spent, a lot of it as well. Apoc needs to connect with his AWP, and he is having a rough time of it. Down he goes, 10 seconds though. Hazard could ruin this all just by living, just by surviving here. Is he dropped the bomb? No, they're planting it just in the nick of time as well. Oh, That's course down, he's... and now they've got a man advantage. Not much health, but the numbers at the very least. Here's the battle back through for looking for Org. Obviously, you got to go for it. But strong positioning in towards the tunnel is going to make this difficult indeed. Of course, he will be playing the waiting game with his two points of health, but he'll still be there as an insurance policy. Now comes the utility. Now comes the retake on. They found a bulkhead, but NDK wants to eliminate them on the beaches, and it's all going to be on Delicky. He's got three players to find, and he is down for the count. 16 to 6. Mal's take wow. it through. They were in control all game long. They're towards the end looking for org. Gave us just a little glimmer of hope that they might be able to do something, but that was snuffed out first by Bemis, then by NBK to seal the deal here, John. Yeah, Bemis, Dexter, and Frozen were...